So in this video, I'm going to be looking at five new gadgets that I am really excited to talk about with you. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Dee and this is my van, Lady Bug Out. Each week I try to bring a video that talks about my story and my journey in this tiny van. So if that is the kind of thing you like, you can subscribe to the channel so that, and press the notification bell so that you are sure that you can be notified about new videos that I have coming out. And it's free to you to subscribe and you can unsubscribe at any time. So I'd recommend it if that's what you like. Number five, this little gadget here. And I have talked about these before. I've got two of them. I do not have a max air fan, a lot of people, or any kind of ceiling fan. A lot of people ask me that. On the larger vans, you kind of need that for circulation. I find that it is good enough to have my windows in the front cracked open just a bit and then have these circulating around. A lot of places that I go, I can have, like I do now, my side doors open and sometimes the back, which just kind of gives a lot of ventilation through here. But when it's closed up at night and it's cooler, usually just having the fan on me for a little bit, I. I get cooled down just fine. I actually have to turn it off. What I like about this is that it is USB rechargeable. So right now I have it plugged into my Jackery and it's charging. This is a Jackery 500 and it's, I don't know if you can see that, but it's pulling four watts right now as it's charging. And I can have it plugged in even when it's dead and, and it can charge that way. A lot of you who have solar panels and your electric hooked up that way, you would just kind of keep it plugged in all the time. I tend to not not have it plugged in and let it just kind of run the battery so that I don't have to deal with uh, what I'm dealing with now is this uh, wire in the way. So I usually just unplug it and I can then move this wherever I need to. This is called Opol Opolar, I think is what the brand name is. And I, I said I've got two of them and that way I can just see kind of where there's a breeze coming through and take advantage of that and let it kind of circulate throughout here. Uh, it has three settings. so. So right now it's not on, um, but I don't know if you can hear. It's a very light uh, kind of sound. And then that's just the first one. It's got like a breeze. Then that's number two. And here's number three. So, and I usually only ever have it on number one and it works just fine. Uh, it keeps me nice and cool on a hot, hot day like today. It is 92 out and uh, it's, very, it's very comfortable. So that is gadget number five. Number four, I was recently at VanFest, almost three weeks ago now, but at VanFest, they have some booths set out so that you can look at different gadgets, some of the things that different people and companies use. And I saw this company, it is called Fat Cat Lighting. It's a USB rechargeable light and it's very cute. This is a little box it comes in and this is what it looks like. So here's the little on off button. It has the first setting, which is kind of a bright white light and it's got two. So this is a dimmer, uh, a dimmed down version of that. And then it's got the yellow light. So if you have it outside, it kind of repels or doesn't attract bugs as much. And then it has this as a SOS if you should need it. The other thing I liked about it is that it has this really beautiful stand. So it's just, it's, uh, made out of metal, so it's very sturdy, and you can hang it like a little lantern. So I like the little stand in case you're outside where, and you don't have somewhere to hang it, you can just set it on a table somewhere, and it acts like a little light, so uh, it's like a little lantern. And uh, it's just enough light for my little van, and I will leave the link to the website for that uh, in the description. But it's very, you know, I told him I would review it and see how it is, and I've, I've liked it a lot. Number three is a 12 volt vacuum. So what I love about this, it's a little miniature one. Now it took a long time to get 
here. I think it came from China. It basically has a this attachment, okay? So it comes disassembled. So there's this attachment, this attachment. It has another one that is that has a brush, brushes on it. And then this, it has a really long cord, which I love. I think it's almost about eight feet. And then this is the little canister. So you just would open it like this and that shows where the battery is or the power is. And then this little canister, woo! So this little canister is just the filter. So I will empty the filter. And it's, it's little, like so it's not for a big job or anything, but it's perfect for picking up little things, little crumbs and stuff uh, like you'll see right here since this is I kind of spilled it when I emptied it here. And then the power button is right on the bottom. So you'll hear it in a minute. So again, what I love about it, I, I, they have a lot of 12 volt vacuums, handhelds around, but for my little van that I can store it right here where you saw it uh, in the either passenger side or the driver's side and it's tucked in there, doesn't take up any space. I love that about it. I don't have to create some other area where it's hanging around. Again, I'm not gonna sit there and like do a high quality vacuum job, but for getting dust off and keeping little spills and stuff at bay, it's perfect and I, I really love it for that. So number two is this little gadget. It is called the Noggle, and you see a little pet here on the front, but it's basically an apparatus that can bring the air from the front vent into the back of a car, an SUV, or a little van like this. And it's for pets or children who are in the back seat to keep them cool. The reason why it works for me is because you all have seen what I used for my heater, and I'll leave a link in the description uh, below too. I have a video uh, in my, I think, first gadgets video about that. But what I like about this is I didn't really have a way to get air back here besides the fan. So that's why sometimes I leave the fan up there because for a few minutes I'll leave the air conditioner running in the front and try to get it into the back. It works okay, but then I saw this and I thought, oh my gosh, this may be the answer to what I'm looking for. So I have not tried it. I just literally got it today in the mail. And so I thought I would unbox it with you and then I'll try it out and let you know how it goes. I have a feeling that it's gonna work out really good. So um, here we go. So it kind of looks like a, a little snake or something. All right, so this is, and this is, I, they have different lengths. This is uh, the six foot one. I didn't want to go overboard. I don't think I need the whole six feet. Then it comes with attachments for either a square vent or the round vent. And so in my van, I have the round vent. So I think I'm going to use this one. And the instructions seem pretty simple. So, so basically they're zip ties that you can undo. Uh, I think regular zip ties, it's kind of hard to undo them, but these come with zip ties that you can do up and they go around the vent and then you attach whichever attachment you want on it. So I'm gonna do that now. All right, so I already got this one in. This I think is actually the hardest part about the install because you have to get it into, uh, the, what they say is to bend it. So this, I'll show you with the second one how to do it. There, all right. So I've got both of these in around the vent and then this is the attachment area. So what I'm gonna do, I think is put the zip through on the top and secure it. And I'm not sponsored by Noggle, but Noggle, if you're watching this, you should, <laughs> I did a good job <laughs> explaining your thing here. All right, and then uh, this one, there. And then I take my little noggle and twist it, I think, right on there. There, perfect. And the other cool thing is it's got these. So if you have somewhere to attach it, uh, which I think I will attach it up here to my curtain rod. There. So 
I don't know if you can see that, but it's got the little vent going that way. And I can turn on the air conditioning and we'll see if it works. Oh man, like, so do you see, I don't know if you can see my hair, but like all the way back here, I can feel the air. So this is like halfway where my cab is. Ooh, and I can even feel it back here. So this was my issue before is when I had the fan going and the air on, it really wasn't drawing the air in, but this, like the, I am in my mid van right now and I can feel the cool air. So that is perfect for me. I, I, again, I haven't used this in the wild yet, but I am excited about it because just like the heater, the defroster heater worked for me, all I need is about five, 10 minutes of just cooling the temperature down, especially once the sun is down and cool that off and I'll sleep really good, I think. And so my number one gadget this time, I have searched high and low for something to be a windshield reflector. I was, at, uh, yeah, first I tried to use Reflectix, but that's kind of bulky because then I have to figure out where to store it. As it is, I have made these that go into all of my windows, right? On, you know, if they have little magnets and stuff to each of the windows, uh, these are just Reflectix to try to keep the heat out and the cool air in when I need it. But I was having issues with what would I do here because a lot of the windshield reflectors are really big and cumbersome to store. And again, I don't have a lot of storage space. So I was a little, uh, what do you call it? Cynical that this thing would work, but it is so good. I am loving every second of it. So this is where I store it, okay, in my little glove box. All right, and it looks like a little umbrella, right? Well, it is an umbrella, but it's an umbrella for the windshield. And so you just go in like this. I, I put it over where my camera thing is, and then watch. All right, so it's clicked open. And look, it is big enough for my windshield. It covers everything. It just rests on the dash here. And if you had a bigger vehicle, you might want to, I don't know, push it up more. But for mine, it actually fits the whole space, which I was worried that it would be too small, and it isn't. And so then what I do is put my, you know, these little curtains down, like I always have which is just creates another barrier, but this reflects the heat out. And so then I just grab these and put them in here and it'll create a little vapor barrier with that in place. And voila! So we're here and the sun is beating down on the windshield and I do not feel it. Again, it's like 90 something degrees out and I am feeling really good with the breeze coming through. And what I would do then is just put up my other little side things and this whole area will not get so hot now. So I really love that. I've got to say, like I was a little skeptical that it would work, but I, I really love it. And I love that it can store down little because I like little things and it goes right in my glove box and it's perfect. So that is my number one gadget. So I hope you have enjoyed this video of my five newest top gadgets. And as always, if you have liked it, leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you want more of this. And I would be curious if you guys have a favorite gadget. So leave that in the comments below. And always I'll leave the descriptions to all the things that I've talked about today in the description section if you're looking for it. And I will see you in the next video.